Hello Volvo enthusiasts, welcome to a new how-to video from Nordica. In this video, we'll show you how to easily replace the wheel bearing of your Volvo Amazon. How to know when it's time to replace your wheel bearing? 1. You'll hear a grinding noise while making a turn. 2. You'll notice too much play while pushing the wheel back and forth. Which tools do we need? A torque wrench, hammer, 19mm socket, half inch ratchet, one a quarter inch socket, 916 inch socket with extender, tyre lever, 716 inch socket, quarter inch ratchet with 38 inch socket, bushing, grinding paper, scotch bright, air impact wrench, scraper, steel pipe, hook, wire cutter, caliper, brake drum puller, wooden block, ceramic grease, and bearing grease. Step 1. Remove the wheel. Take off the wheel cover and remove the wheel nuts using a 19mm socket. You can now take off the wheel. Step 2. Remove the brake drum. First, we'll have to remove the split pin with a wire cutter. Use an air impact wrench with a one and a quarter inch socket to remove the nuts and don't forget to take off the ring. Use a brake drum puller, available in our web shop, to remove the brake drum. After that, we'll remove the straps with a 3 8 inch socket in order to loosen the brake line and to take the brake line out of its holder. Next, we'll remove the handbrake cable clamp for the 7 16 inch socket. Use a wire cutter to remove the handbrake from the handbrake lever. Now, remove the handbrake cable from the brake drum and keep the clamp so that you can use it later. After we've removed the nuts from the oil seal plate with a 916 inch socket, we can remove the seal and the complete base plate with brakes. Use a hook to hang the base plate onto the body. Step 3. Remove the drive shaft. First, we'll remove the shims and the key. Thereafter, we'll place the brake drum back on the drive shaft and we'll tighten the nut. Now pull the brake drum a few times towards you until the drive shaft releases. Remove the nut, the brake drum, and the drive shaft and remove the dirt and grease with a cloth. Use a tyre lever to remove the oil seal. Step 4 Clean the axle flange and drive shaft. Use grinding paper and a cloth to remove dirt from the flange. This is the old wheel bearing. As you can see, traces of wear are visible here and discoloration occurred there. We're now going to remove the old wheel bearing from the drive shaft. We use a steel pipe in which we'll drop the drive shaft. After that, it's time to clean the drive shaft with a rotating wire brush and scotch brake. Step 5. Mount a new wheel bearing kit. You can find a link to this product in the description below this video. Place the new wheel bearing on the drive shaft and drop the drive shaft carefully on a piece of wood. Carefully apply bearing grease onto the wheel bearing. Or not. We're now going to mount a new oil seal. Don't hit the bushing too hard as this will damage the oil seal. After that the drive shaft can be remounted. Gently locate the drive shaft's position into the differential. Use a hammer to carefully shove the outer bearing ring into the axle. Try to rotate the drive shaft manually to be sure that the bearing has no play. Once we're sure there's no play, it's time to measure the distance between the outer bearing ring and the flange. 
In our case, the distance is 3 mm. The wheel bearing should have a play of 0.05 mm. Since the left and right drive shaft are mounted against each other in the differential, it's possible to adjust both wheel bearings on one side, usually the right side. Since we're going to adjust both wheel bearings on one side, we should hold on to a play of 2 by 0.05, so 0.1 mm. We're now going to compile a package of shims of 3.1 mm. Hang the shims onto the four bolts and place the base plate back on the drive shaft. Don't forget to remove the spacer and old gasket. After that we're going to mount the new gaskets with spacer and oil seal plate. Don't forget the two rings before mounting the nuts. Tighten the nuts with a ratchet. Now push the brake line back in its holder and attach it to the axle with some straps. After that, we can remount the handbrake cable in its clamp. Make sure you mount the key correctly with the narrow side face down and pointed toward the axle. Now, place the brake drum and its ring back onto the drive shaft. Put some ceramic grease on the end of the drive shaft. Make sure the split pin hole is pointed upwards by turning the brake drum. Now it will be easier to find the split pin hole while mounting the castle nut. Put the wheel back on the car and tighten the nuts with a torque wrench at 10 kilograms a meter. Finally, place the wheel cover back on the wheel. We're now done replacing the wheel bearing of this Volvo Amazon. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed watching this video.